Won't You Be My Neighbor is the documentary about Fred Rogers and how he created the TV series Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. So just in case, if you don't know, which I'm sure most of you do, so basically Fred Rogers, if you don't know, he was a former minister who lived in Pittsburgh who created the beloved children TV series Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood aired on PBS from 1968 all the way to 2001 and at that time, it was very different and very unique from other kids shows at the time because it dealt with adult topics at that time kids shows did not go over. Like for example, death, racism, divorce, assassination. It was very heavy stuff that's, that's very adult, but it's important stuff that kids should know and that's what made the show very, very important. And Fred Rogers was, as we all know, a very, very important figure because he was a very genuine nice guy and he actually would have like groups with children and he he trusted little kids and he knew that they weren't idiots. They were just growing up and it takes a while for them to know important stuff. And he was very smart and very kind about that. And of course, growing up, I did grow up watching Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. I remember watching it on my TV. And in fact, it was one of my favorite shows growing up when I was little. And going into, and going into Won't You Be My Neighbor, I was really excited. And I walked out with a huge smile on my face. Guys, Won't You Be My Neighbor... It's marvelous. It's phenomenal. It's excellent. Words cannot explain how great this movie is. In fact, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. It's official. Won't You Be My Neighbor is officially not only my favorite movie of the summer, but it's my favorite movie of 2018, period. And here's why I say that. It is the movie we need right now. Our world has been facing a ton of sad news lately and like world tragedies. This movie takes you to a happy reality. And even though this movie does have sad stuff in it, like for example, it, it does mention like how African Americans were, were treated back in like the late 1960s. And it does mention Robert Kennedy's assassination. It doesn't stress away from the fact that it's just a happy movie. And Fred Rogers was just a nice, genuine guy. There was one great sequence from this movie that I really enjoyed. And I thought it was very effective and very moving. So basically, it showed a clip from the show where Mr. Rogers is soaking his feet in a kiddie pool. And his friend, Officer Clemens, who is an African American, he comes over and he's like, Hey, Fred, is it okay if I join you in the kiddie pool, and Mr. Rogers is like, oh yeah, sure, yeah, come over, yeah, I don't care. So basically, what I'm trying to say is, that was filmed at a time when African Americans were getting treated like crap, like unfairly and poorly, and it mentions people would put very dangerous and poisonous chemicals in the swimming pools that African Americans would swim in, and... The kiddie pool was basically a very powerful and moving message by Mr. Rogers that everyone is equal, no one gets treated like that, and you're welcome in his neighborhood. And this movie had something that was very fascinating and very shocking about Mr. Rogers. It was, he got criticized for telling kids that they're special, but people were worried that kids were going to take the message the bad way. Like, they were gonna stop and think like, wait, am I actually special? And Mr. Rogers got bashed for that. And it was, I was like, he's trying to make a statement about it. And yes, this movie is an emotional roller coaster. And, I, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm being 100% serious. There were moments in this movie where I actually started to tear up. It's just, it's just fantastic to know how much of a great guy Fred Rogers was. Because he was a genuine, nice guy. 
and what he did to our society was just amazing. And what he did to children's television was fantastic. And it's just, it's just heartbreaking to know that we'll never get a guy like him ever again. There will be one Mr. Rogers. So overall guys, Won't You Be My Neighbor was phenomenal. I loved it. It was effective. It was thoughtful. It was moving. It was funny at times. It was heartbreaking at times. It's just words cannot describe how much of a great movie it is. And it is, without a doubt, not only my favorite movie of the summer, but it is my favorite movie of the year, period. And I know, and I know I've given a lot of movies this year so far an A+, but this one, without a doubt, absolutely deserves it. I give Won't You Be My Neighbor an A+. That's a wrap for my review of Won't You Be My Neighbor. And before I wrap up the video, I have a question for you guys. Have you seen Won't You Be My Neighbor? What do you think of it? Or if you haven't seen it yet, what is your favorite movie of 2018 so far? Whatever it is, just comment below. And if you want to see more of my videos, just, just be sure to like this video and subscribe for more great content.